Well, Steve, uh, part of a very uh, big effort at the, the World Cup in terms of the coaching. I mean, Michael Checker and Bill Pulver say they want to keep that group together. Is, is that the feeling that you you want to stay together as a coaching team? Uh, yeah, it worked pretty well for us. Um, we've had a good year and, and certainly the tournament itself, uh, in terms of the cohesion between the coaches and the players, seemed to work pretty well. So. Uh, I mean, we still got to have discussions. Um, we'll, we'll do a review of the World Cup campaign. Uh, we'll have some discussions after that and see what ends. Yeah, uh, there were a couple of players, obviously, in your squad for the Brumbies that didn't play a lot. Are they likely to come back a little bit earlier to train? Or can we speak to uh, No, we've, we've given all those guys off until the beginning of January next year. Um, however, some of them, even some of the guys who didn't play a number of minutes, might come back in pre Christmas just to get a bit of a program and touch base. and. Uh, say hello to some new players before we get back into it early January. And what about you? I mean, in terms of this campaign, does it feel the desire a little more in terms of coaching as well? Uh, yeah, there's a number of things that I learned out of the, the tour. Uh, it was certainly very enjoyable. We've been on the road now uh, for a little under 10 weeks. Um, and we've been through a fair bit um, as, a, as a coaching group and as a playing group and uh, certainly take some of those things into next season with the Bumbies. But uh, yeah, good for my long-term development. And on the flip side, have you sort of maybe made your job a little bit harder next year with, uh, I guess, some of the development you probably put into guys like uh, Foley and, and those guys? No, not necessarily. I think uh, um, you know, it was enjoyable being part of that team and, and I was very proud to be part of the coaching staff. Um, I think there's a lot of general public now who are uh, quite passionate and proud about the Wallabies. Um, I'm certainly one of those people and... Uh, if in any, any small way I contributed to that, I'm, uh, I'm grateful for that opportunity. And I guess, uh, do you, your thoughts sort of now turn to um, trying to re-sign the uh, Yeah, that'll, that'll start soon, but those guys have got a bit of time off now. Um, We'll let them get away from rugby and, and we'll sort of, uh, like I said, we'll review the World Cup and then uh, I'll have a couple of meetings this week uh, with the Brumby staff in preparation for pre-season, which starts in two and a half weeks. Do you get much of a break? Yeah, I'll get next week off, which is OK. <laughs> nice to be home though after all the travel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, it was very enjoyable and we had a lot of, a lot of success and I think um, um, the, the players... Uh, the players gained a lot in terms of um, their development, not only as rugby players but as general people and uh, I think the coaches did the same but um, it's always good to get home. Just on the re-signing of players, with Poey signed for one more year and Stephen Moore, is that a priority now to, to lock those players in so you don't have a situation like you had with Nick White where you had to, had to scramble a little bit? Uh, yeah, ideally. I mean, that's the same with every player coming off contract, particularly players that you want to keep, you want to make sure that they're locked up well in advance, but um, um, we'll start those negotiations. Most of those negotiations um, take a long time. Um, you know, on the back of David's form this year particularly, um, very keen to keep him here long term, but uh, understand that, that um, you know, he's got other priorities in life and, and we'll have to sit down and, and discuss that with him. Because, um, it took, any because it took so long to get one year. Uh, yeah, it did. It, it didn't take a long time. It was it was more negotiations about previous contracts and, and where he stood with all that sort of stuff before we could move forward. And uh, uh, yeah, he, he had a lot to weigh up, and, and particularly I think his form in this season and uh, during the World Cup. I think now he's proved to to not only uh, Australian rugby but to world rugby that he is uh, the most valuable asset. Are you confident that Cavelli is going to be here? Is just yet to be finalised? Uh, yeah, still waiting on a few details there, but um, pretty confident. So, he, I mean, they're over there still playing um, the Barbarians game, which is in two weeks' time. Uh, and on the back of that, we'll certainly know a little bit more about whether he's coming or not. And Poey uh, sort of mentioned what, um, I guess, the, the French, French guys like Gibson and Drew added to the group. Do, do you see maybe that's a, a point of it um, that uh, you could further uh, or decrease the, the restrictions on, um, I guess, guys coming into the Wallabies camp? From uh, I guess, I mean, that's up for the ARU to discuss, but um, I certainly thought those guys added a lot, particularly when we were coming up against some of the European teams, um, and they've played against them week in, week out over there. 
Dean Mum, uh, Kane Douglas, Matt Giddo, Andrew Mitchell all contributed massively to the team and uh, I think it was a great initiative to, to allow those guys to come back into the frame and uh, you could just look at their performances throughout the World Cup, they certainly deserved it.